Craig's loading up the truck. He's headed out of town. Another duck season has finally rolled around. Well, he's hunted across this country, made a lot of friends. And the one thing they love most is chasing the duck hunter's dream. Yes, why? Bradley Smoker proudly presents the Flyway Highway. Bradley takes your outdoor cuisine to a whole new level. Also brought to you by the Remington Arms Company, Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side vehicles, EOTech holographic weapon sites, Mojo Outdoors, and waterfowl waiting systems, quality and innovation taken to the extreme. Now let's join Craig on the road. On this week's episode of the Flyway Highway, I'm in the Dakotas, right in the middle of the Prairie Pothole region. This region's landscape is dotted with thousands of small lakes and ponds where migratory waterfowl nest and breed in the abundant grasslands. They call this region the Duck Factory. That's why it's an important stop for me on the Flyway Highway. God, all right. Well, hey, our, our first day here in South Dakota with Marty Maciel of Pepper Sioux Outfitters is getting off to a great start. Now, Marty, tell our viewers a little bit about our hunt. Well, we're just hunting a pothole about 12 miles south of Henry, South Dakota, and uh, there was a real nice mixed bag in here, divers and puddle ducks the last couple days. So we just set up with some mojos and some uh, maybe 40 blocks, and yeah, so far so good. I think we're gonna have a really good hunt this morning. Girl, good girl. Very close. <laughs> well, hey, we're starting to kill some ducks here this morning now. You know, we're kind of, it's, it's, uh, we've got no wind and, uh, it's pretty foggy too. But now, in terms of our decoy spread, we've got about four dozen decoys out. We've got three Mojo Mallard spinners and a flyway feeder, and that's nice because that's kicking up a little water, creating some ripples, and on a day with no wind and flat water, that's real important. It seems to be working. <laughs> <laughs> nice, doubled up. Woo, that's the way to do it, boys. <laughs> now those birds, Marty, they, uh, We've actually got some decoys out in the field behind us too. We have a, a, um, a mojo mallard and some silo sock duck decoys. They work perfectly that time. Come right over the top of your head and you oh, put a yeah. nice double down. Yeah, we're really putting the herd on between our decoys out front with the mojos and out back with the silo socks and the mojo and we're right in the middle. So it's a perfect place to be. Oh, here comes a single right here. <laughs> Woo, smoked them. <laughs> Marty, you're on your game. <laughs> Kill that bird. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There he goes. Well, look at that. Got a nice uh, Drake Mallard in a widgeon. Now, one thing I want to point out, when you're out hunting a, a water environment like this, you need a good pair of waders. Now, these are from Waterfall Wading Systems. 
They're their Northern Guide Bootfoot Breathable Wader. Now it's a breathable wader. It has a lightweight, comfortable polyester outshell material, but it's breathable. It features caddis dry breathable technology. What that means is when you're out walking around working up a sweat like I was retrieving these birds, your perspiration and vapor form from your body can actually pass through to the outside. That's why you stay cool, dry, and comfortable in just about any conditions. <laughs> Nice shot, guys. Oh, there they go. Good that shot, that guys. That nice. Hey, we're done. We are shot out. We've got three limits of ducks, and I'll tell you, Marty, that didn't take too long, did it? No, it did not take too long. Now, what do you have planned for us next? Well, we're going to do a little pheasant hunting this afternoon, I think, and see if we can go out and, and uh, get some roosters, and then uh, tomorrow we'll be in the field for mallards and, and honkers. Oh, that sounds great. Well, let's go get those ducks and head on in. All right, sounds good. Looking for the most innovative dove decoys on the market today? Mojo brings you their popular voodoo dove that will sit atop the newly designed dove tree that just hit the market. The dove tree, with its hard ground stirrup for easy ground installation, simulates a dead snag or light wire, which we all know attracts dove. Add to this the Mojo clip-on doves and a couple of live-action kits, and you have a combination that no dove can resist. Strap on a Mojo dove belt and head to the field. For more info, go to MojoOutdoors.com, and remember, it ain't magic if it ain't Mojo. Bring out the flavor and bring out the fun with a Bradley smoker. You can smoke or slow cook any meat, seafood or cheeses. Endless possibilities. Your food will always come out of the smoke, plump, juicy and bursting with delicious flavor. Your guests won't be able to resist. Bradley smokers, all about the flavor. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Silo Socks, realistic, portable windsock decoys. Look at the tail feathers on this one. Oh, Craig, this is a beauty. Okay, we're out on our afternoon pheasant hunt here with Pepper Slew Outfitters. Now, Marty, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Yeah, they combine this corn and we left a couple of strips up and boy sure pushed the birds into them. Oh, they sure did. Now, tell the viewers a little bit about your pheasant hunt inside of your operation. Well, it starts uh, the third weekend in October, uh, three bird limit, and uh, it's kind of what we're known for here. And what we'd like to do is shoot some ducks in the morning, come out and shoot some pheasants in the afternoon. Now that's some South Dakota pheasant hunting right there, huh? That was pretty good. It took us a little bit, but we got them. How many did we get? We got limits for everybody. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Hey, we're back at the lodge. Now Jenny is going to help me prepare the ducks that we shot the other day. We're going to smoke them on our Bradley smoker. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with smoking food, it's really a great way to bring out the flavor in anything you eat. And the Bradley smoker is a very easy way to smoke food. Well, first off, Jenny, what did you do to prepare those duck breasts? Oh, I got two different marinades. I've got this one I did in Italian dressing, and this one is a soy kind of Worcestershire type base and marinated them overnight. 
Ooh, my mouth is watering already. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Now, the first thing we have to do, Jenny, is obviously load the duck meat into the smoker. All right, let's load that up. We're going to close the door. And like I said, the Bradley smoker is super easy to use. You know, it works in two ways. It cooks a food via a combination of heat, like a conventional convection oven, and smoke. And what you do is you set the oven temp and time, and then you set the smoker time. Now what's interesting and really fun to play around with is you can increase or decrease the smoky flavor of the food depending on how you do the settings. If you want a more smoky flavor, you simply do a longer smoke time in a lower oven temp. And if you want a less smoky flavor, you do the opposite, a higher oven temp and time in a, in a lower smoke time. Now to smoke the food, you have to use the biscuits. And what's really neat is once a biscuit is done burning, it automatically gets pushed into a tray of water where it extinguishes itself. It's really a set it and forget it device. The Bradley smoker is a great way to prepare food. Not only does it accentuate the taste of food, but it's also really easy to use. Hey Jenny, let's go back to the lodge because in a few hours, it's a bon appetit time. Perfect, all yeah. my work's done. Hey Jenny, I just pulled the ducks off the smoker. Look at this. Mm. Woo boy, hey, oh let's, let's, let's sample one before dinner. What do you think? Oh. Should we? Yeah. You're the official taste testers before Look dinner. Look at that. That's perfect. It did turn out perfectly. Go ahead. You first. Let me get a bite of this. How oh is God, it? It's so good. Man, I'll tell you, I love smoked duck. It's perfect. And you even get the uh, cherry. Yeah. From the, the smoky flavor is coming right through. I'm telling you, the guys are going to love this, this for is dinner. awesome. I'll tell you, smoked duck on the Bradley Smoker is the way to go. Now, for more information on Bradley Smokers, Go to the Bradley Smoker website or the Flyway Highway website. Hey, we'll be right back with more Flyway Highway after these messages. Hey, this is Craig Foster with Flyway Highway Television. I wear Northern Guide breathable waders from Waterfall Wading Systems. The lightweight, durable outers feature caddis dry breathable technology. Unlike neoprene waders, body perspiration and vapor form can escape to the outside. No more wet, clammy feeling in warmer weather or during physical exertion. And in colder weather, layering up and the heavily insulated boot feet will keep you comfortable. Northern Guide breathable waders keep me dry and comfortable in any conditions. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Top Duck Products, creators of Superzilla and Gunzilla. There we go. Take him, Craig. There they go. Nice. That's some good gunning right there. Boy, these birds are really starting to work now. It's early morning hours and uh, the birds are sucking in. Yeah, right? there's just enough wind to keep them in the direction. They're, they're coming off the roost and swinging around and give us a good look at them. There he goes. Nice shoot. All right. Pretty wow. go, gentlemen. That was nice. Now we've got a neat decoy spread set up here this morning. We've got a Pretty big spread. We've got a combination of Canada goose decoys and duck decoys. Then we also have a bunch of sock mallard duck decoys. And of course, we've got six mojo mallard spinning wing decoys out in front. Those birds, boy, once they see the spread, they get in close enough, then they key on those mojos. And uh, boy, they're closing really well today. <laughs> Hey, we just got in from another fantastic hunt. Now, Marty, you know, I've been hunting with you for three years now out here at Pepper Slough Outfitters, and it's always a great time. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this will be our fifth year coming up. We're just finishing up our fourth season, and uh, it's just been getting more and more fine-tuned. We're just getting all the, all the little problems worked out, and, and now it's just running smooth, and I think everybody's really enjoying themselves now when they come out. Well, I can tell you, I sure am. You know, this lodge in particular, I've seen it progress over the last couple of years. This is one of the nicest lodges I've ever been to. Tell the viewers a little bit about this place. Well, it's a nice three-story timber lodge. It's got a game room upstairs, and the main floor has all your dining room and commercial kitchen. We can sleep up to 30, 32 people now comfortably. It's got lockers downstairs and a nice fire pit in the back, and uh, 
along with the extra acreage that we've leased now, we've got it just about fine-tuned to where we want it now, Craig. Well, I'll tell you what, you sure do. You know, in addition to the great accommodations and food, the hunting, as you've seen on the episode, is, is just world-class. You know, I, I've said it many times, you know, people think of South Dakota for pheasants, but the waterfall hunting is just phenomenal here, and you're right in the prime location, right in the middle of the flyway for the ducks and geese. We've been a, a real well-kept secret for a long time. I don't know how much longer it's going to be when, when uh, people start finding out about it, but right now it's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Well, it's a great place to go, whether it's pheasant, ducks, geese, or varmints, or big game, Pepper Slough Outfitter has it all right here in South Dakota. On this week's duck truck upgrade segment, I'm going to show you some items from Weston Automotive, one of my favorite truck accessory companies. Over the years, I've put a lot of Weston accessories on our duck trucks. Here are a few of my favorites. This is Weston's HDX winch mount grill guard. Not only does it look really rugged and tough, it also has a built-in tray for a winch. Speaking of which, this is Weston's T-Max off-road series winch. With 8,500 pounds of pulling power, the T-Max can come in really handy if you get stuck. Now this is Weston's Contour 3.5 inch bull bar. It's designed to hug the curve of your truck's front end and is 20% larger than a traditional bull bar. It's available in stainless steel or the black powder coat version you see here. The Contour bull bar looks great the way it hugs the curves of your truck's front end. These are Weston's HDX commercial grade running boards. They're made from solid one piece steel and have a durable powder coat finish. The diamond tread surface is non-slip and looks great. Finally, these are Weston's new R7 running boards. They feature oversized step pads and OE style traction grooves. R7 running boards are available in polished stainless steel or in great looking black powder coat aluminum. Those were just a few of the great accessory items that Weston Automotive makes for your truck. Now for more information, go to the Flyway Highway or the Weston Automotive website. Hey, we'll be right back with more Flyway Highway after these messages. There's a place that we go. A place that can't be found on any map or marked on the GPS, but we go drawn in by a compulsion to explore and kept out by the necessity of adventure. There's a place that we go. It has no name, no coordinates, but we've all been there before. EOTech Holographic Weapon Sights. Accelerate your advantage. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Stump Jumper Surface Drive Boats. Oh, this is some fantastic gun, and boy, I'll tell you what, Marty, you have got the birds here. And as you can see, we're having a great mixed bag hunt. Now I've got a beautiful Drake widgeon here, a pintail. What do you got, Marty? I picked up a Drake green wing and another bull widgeon here. Oh, that's nice. Now why don't you explain to the viewers the, the limits for, for ducks here in South Dakota? Well, you can shoot six. Uh, five can be mallards. Uh, two of those can be hens. We get two pintails, uh, two redheads, a canvas back. Uh, it's six a day and 12 in possession. Hey, it sounds great. And boy, the gunning has been fantastic. Oh, yeah. Well, they let you have eight honkers also, so. Between that and the geese, you can really get some And the pheasants, in. which we're going to do pheasants. this afternoon. Yep. Boy, I tell you, I'm having a great time. All right. Well, these Silo Socks are really doing the job for us today. You know, the Silo Socks are a unique product. It's the combination of a silhouette, the head, and a windsock, the body. It also has an integrated support system down the spine of the sock. So even on a day when there's no wind, the sock is still upright and appears to be full of air. And of course, on a windy day like today, you've got some great motion. Go. 
kill him. Here in front. Yeah. Oh, I put the eel tech. Right on him, Marty. Yeah, I see you're using that again this year. Yeah, I sure am. You know, the EOTech, uh, for those of you that don't know, is a holographic weapon sight. It's basically a tubeless heads-up display, and it has an illuminated dot and ring. And basically all I do is put the dot on the bird, pull away for the lead, squeeze a trigger. It's a done deal. And, you know, unlike tube sights, there's no restricted vision on the side. I can shoot with both eyes open. I have my peripheral vision, and that's the way you're supposed to shoot birds on the wing. It's also military spec. It's waterproof, dustproof, fogproof, shockproof. It's a great item. It's a lot of fun. Hold those ducks up, guys. Look at that. Wow, that's fantastic. We had a great hunt here this morning. Now, Marty, what do you got planned for us next? Well, first, let's go back to the lodge, get a bite to eat. Oh, that sounds great. I'll go get the Viking. I'll come back. We'll pick up the spread. Now, I got a special surprise for you guys. We'll go back to the lodge, brush these ducks out. I'm going to fire up the Bradley smoker. We're going to have smoked duck for dinner tonight. What do you guys think of that? Awesome. Fantastic. All right, let's do it. This is the Yamaha Viking, the toughest and hardest working utility side-by-side -side that's also fun to drive. The Viking is the most off-road capable and comfortable true three-person side-by-side utility vehicle. It's packed with class-leading features, it's real-world tough, and it's assembled in the USA. The Viking has a powerful 700-class motor that produces strong acceleration and excellent power. The Viking's Ultramatic transmission is reliable and easy to operate. The on-command four-wheel drive system features two-wheel drive, limited slip four-wheel drive, and fully locked differential four-wheel drive. Yamaha's electric power steering makes maneuvering simple and easy. The Viking's sturdy steel bed can handle 600 pounds of payload. It tilts with a simple unlocked lever. The Viking is a true three-passenger machine with comfortable ergonomics and a middle seat with a slightly reclined backrest so shoulders don't rub against each other. For 2017, Yamaha improved the Viking. Ride quality has been improved, the chassis is stronger, and the rear cargo bed's been reinforced. Now we also put some accessory items on our Viking courtesy of Quad Boss, the leader in ATV and UTV accessories. We started by mounting a set of Quad Boss mud tires and wheels. The tires have inch and a quarter mud lugs and a directional tread design that can tackle the most challenging terrain. The wheels are built to handle off-road abuse. They're strong, lightweight, and great looking. Next, we mounted a Quad Boss 5,000 pound winch to the front of our Viking. This is a high quality winch with awesome pulling power. It comes with a really convenient wireless remote and a 50 foot synthetic rope. Finally, we added a Quad Boss LED light bar to the roof of our Viking. These lights are incredibly bright. They're perfect for lighting up the field when we set our decoy spreads. Yamaha's Viking is the most capable side-by-side -side I've ever driven. And with the improvements they made for 2017, the best just got better. And the Quad Boss accessory items we put on this machine really enhance its capability. For more information on the Yamaha Viking and Quad Boss accessory items, visit their websites. Hey, the Flyway Highway wants to give a special thanks to Marty Maciel of Pepper Slough Outfitters. Now, I had a great time out here in South Dakota hunting with Marty. Thanks again. You're welcome, Craig. Come back next year. Hey, I'd love to. Now, if you're looking for some of the finest waterfall hunting, not only in South Dakota, but all in North America, not to mention world-class pheasant hunting, you need to look up Marty at Pepper Slough Outfitters. Now, give him a call or go on their website. He'll put you on the birds. Be sure to tune in next week when Craig heads further down the Flyway Highway. Well, hey, our smoked ducks and geese are done. Now we're just kicking back and relaxing after a great day of hunting. Good times and good friends. You can't beat that, can you guys? Yeah, Absolutely right. Not. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, hey, let's dig in. Get him, get him.